Now, if we're doing cosecant to 1.72, what you guys need to do for a problem like this is, again, we need to understand how is the sine and the cosecant related to each other? Well, remember, when we talked about the points on the unit circle, we said sine of an angle is represented by that y coordinate of the intersection on the unit circle. Then, when we talked about the cosine of that, oh, I'm sorry, not the cosine, but the cosecant of that angle, we represented that as 1 over y. Okay? Yes? Okay. So, therefore, these are reciprocals of each other. And what you can say now is that the sine of theta is equal to 1 over cosecant of theta. So if I want to plug this in, if you guys are looking in your calculator, you're not going to see a cosecant function. Because a cosecant, again, is the reciprocal of the sine function. So to do a problem like this, what I simply need to do is type in 1 over the, one over the sine of 1.72. So now I just do 1 divided by sine of 1.72. And that equals 1.011. Just approximate it. Okay?